Well, now I get to play Mr. Science for a few minutes and answer some of your questions about power supplies and water ionizers. Well, there are two types of power supplies that you find in ionizers, linear and SMPS, and I'll explain both and the pros and cons of both. But when we were doing our research, we found that 99% of all ionizer companies, whether using linear or SMPS, were using generic power supplies. That means most of them are just going to a company that makes power supplies and just choosing the power supplies available. And I'll, I'll explain why th there's some pros and cons of that as well. But basically, you know, it's not uncommon in business to do that. Uh, you're going to cut expenses by going to a company that's already making them. So SMPS switch mode, uh, think of that as taking AC current, switching it to DC, and then switching the DC on and off um, to create recreate AC current. And there's some advantages to that. First, it's very energy efficient. It's not going to waste a lot of energy. It's not going to produce heat. And then it's going to cost less, weigh less, and it's smaller. So that's why you find SMPS in most computers for these reasons. And in a desktop computer, it'll be inside the box you find inside the back of a computer. And then in a laptop, you'll notice that the charging cable, which you plug into the wall, then it's got a black box, and then you plug it into the laptop. That black box in the middle, that's usually an SMPS type of power supply. The downside when it comes to ionizers is that you've got a varying voltage, meaning it's going to, because the voltage fluctuates, switches, you're going to have some fluctuations in pH and ORP, so in the, what, the water that you get out. And because of that variation in voltage, you're going to get faster wear on the plate surfaces. So it may not last as long. And then it does produce a little bit more EMF and also EMI. So with linear, the pros are the exact opposite of the cons of the SMPS. And that's you're going to get more consistent ORP, uh, more consistent pH because of more stable voltage and less wear on the plates. The cons are is if the power supply and the plates aren't matched perfectly, over time you can get some problems with overheating. And the only example I've ever heard of is that the top selling or excuse me, the most expensive ionizer out there in their manual, you'll notice it says, please don't run it uh, half an hour or more. And that's just because of the matching up of the power supply and the plates. And the thing that we noticed is that they all failed ETL certification. Now, why is ETL certification important or why was it important to us is that this independent laboratory tests the specifications on your unit. And they also test for safety and they make recommendations to make the unit more stable and more effective. And ETL tests a lot of products, but they're very expensive and very stringent. And we looked at wanting to make our water ionizer pass ETL certification, and we're the only ones that, that can. So our solution to the power supply was we wanted to custom design the linear power supply so that it would perfectly match the custom designed platinum titanium plates we have in our unit, which are both RTI distinct and synced for the power supply. So the results are a more constant straight line voltage across the plates for more consistent pH and ORP, ideal surface area, and the lowest amount of current needed to, to still get ideal pH and ORP. And you can run the unit for an hour and you're never going to have any problem in terms of heating. So we felt that was just a better answer to power supply. And it passes the ETL certification and we actually designed that with it in mind when we designed the unit and the power supply. So take a closer look at the live water ionizer and thanks for listening.